I'm Pat Sickens, the host of the 904 Pro Show, connecting you to local Jacksonville businesses. On episode four, we have Dan McCarthy, the broker owner of Better Homes and Gardens Lifestyle Realty here in Jacksonville. It's a great conversation talking about a hot real estate market, talks about what to expect coming in the new year, gives some tips to both buyers and sellers, and talks about the growth that they've had as one of the top 50 fastest growing companies in Jacksonville. Great conversation. Stay tuned. This episode is brought to you by First Down Mortgage, your first call for all your mortgage and refinancing needs. Make sure you give the folks over at Better Homes and Gardens and the good people like Chad Houseman over at First Down a call. So without further ado, we are here, episode four of the 904 Pro Show. Um, so tell me a little bit about what's going on in the market. I know it's been just a crazy year with obviously COVID, um, just a lot of things going on, but it still seems like, you know, from a real estate perspective and what we're seeing, things really haven't slowed down. Yeah, no, our industry has been very lucky, um, you know, with everything going on and we just kept cruising, even picked up momentum. It was, uh, really, I think, and you're going to continue to see that it's just a lot of people want to be able to have more square footage looking for the good school systems, nice weather. I mean, quarantine up in the north northeast, and you're stuck inside. Being down here, riding bikes, going to the beach. I mean, have big backyards with a pool, 70 plus degrees out. It, it's very, uh, very, very drawing to a lot of people. Sure. Yeah, and, and we've talked about it, you know, me being from South Florida, going to JU, moving away for a little bit, and just keep, I keep coming back to Jacksonville, but... You know, we felt that, you know, in the five years that we were in Virginia, you being stuck inside. So I, I totally understand people, A, just coming here for the weather. Obviously, it's appealing with the beach and all that. But to have, I don't want to say loose restrictions, but certainly looser restrictions, being able to go outside, enjoy the beach, stuff like that. I know there's a lot of people coming. So how is that affecting overall inventory and, and things like that with people you know, really trying to flock here right now. Yeah, I mean, inventory is a key word. That's what we need. Uh, we've got plenty of buyers in the market and just not a lot of listings. Um, I was listening to CNBC yesterday and they were talking about that's just in general, nobody really wants to sell and you've got all these people that want to buy and that want to come into this market and new construction can't keep up with the demand. Uh, they were saying, the, the numbers they were saying were that they're actually at a one of the lowest levels for new construction in something like 20 years right now, and so really? they're still trying to catch up. And it's I mean, there's if they can if they can build them, there's going to be buyers for them. It's just a matter of getting them built. Well, and it seems like there's a lot of expansion going on right now. So you're talking about you know the fact that there's not a lot of inventory here, and I know a lot of the the builders are starting to move out to places that you know 20 years ago when we were both getting into real estate, when I was doing mortgages back then, um, you were just getting into real estate, you know, there were places that you wouldn't really have considered, like even Nocatee really wasn't anything when we first <laughs> when yeah. we first started out. And so you see that and then the surrounding area in St. John's and other places. So how do you see, you know, those those areas growing? Just continuing to grow. It's, it's so I mean, you've, you've got, obviously St. John's County is still growing. Uh, where we really see a lot of growth right now is up in Nassau County, in okay. the Yulee area. Um, there's a lot of new construction going on there. Uh, I, I don't know when the last time you were up there was, but you used to get off on 95 and go east toward Fernandina, mm-hmm. and there was some construction going on. Right. And you know, you had Northampton, things like that. If you go west off 95 now, there's new communities being built, already built. Um, there's, there's just a lot of new construction going on up in Nassau County. So. And then you go down to Clay County, and it's the same thing. So I mean, it's 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 in all the counties. Uh, Duval's obviously still building. Right. I mean, it's uh, there's growth in this entire area. There's really not a place you can go where the the rock hasn't been unturned. Really. So with you know with all that being said, what advice would you give? I guess on on both sides. So let's start with on the seller side. You know, someone that is looking to maybe upgrade get a bigger house um, or just move for whatever reason, but they're kind of sitting, what, what would your advice be right now? Find where you want to move to first before you list it because it's not going to be hard 
if you're if you're at a market price when you sell, it's not going to be hard to find where you want to move to. So with all that being said, you know, from both the, we'll start with the seller side, but I want to hear on both sides of the equation, you know, if you're a seller in the market right now, what's your, your biggest piece of advice with everything going on? Yeah. I mean, you're going to want to get with your real estate professional and find where you're moving to uh, target an area, ideally a house. Uh, not a lot of sellers are going to take contingent offers. And what I mean by that is if, Hey, I have to sell my house and then I want to buy your house. I mean, there's so many buyers that, if you don't have all your ducks in a row, you're probably not going to get that property. But be in a position to where you know there's a good opportunity for you to buy something before you list your house because the listing part should be the easy part. It's going to be the buying part that's going to be difficult. All right. Well, I remember when we were moving back, that's what we were dealing with with you. You know, yeah. we had our house in Virginia and we were trying to get down. And even back then, you know, that was three years ago. Um, it was still competitive and trying to put the contingent offer in. So we ended up selling and, and having to wait um, to do that. So what what makes or what can someone do to make themselves as attractive as possible? So obviously, like you said, not having contingent offer. But what are some of the other things that you're seeing that are making the a buyer more attractive to a seller if they're competing? Yeah, I, I would say number one is get with your real estate professional. You know, get, get with your realtor, sit down and map out the plan. Say, hey. This is what we're hoping to do. What do we need to do to get to that position? And you know, all of our realtors will sit down. They have their buyer, buyer consultation packet, and they'll walk through every step of the process. And same thing on the seller side, and say, here are the things you need to have in place. Here are the things you need to think about. And once you're ready, let's go. You know, so many, so many buyers, sellers, they'll they'll pop on a website, you know, like Zillow, mm -hmm. and say, oh yeah, look at this house. Let's do this. Let's do that. And they start moving so quick. Sit down with your realtor, map everything out. You know, that's your professional. Just like we're doing sitting here talking about it. Talk, talk to your realtor, figure out what you want to do, and then they'll be able to, to give you the, the game plan on that. Yeah, and I think that's important. That's obviously why we're bringing a group of professionals together for 904 Pros. Um, we've talked about this a little bit, and, and I know a lot of people are putting content out right now about the self-service model. You know, you can get insurance online. You can get a mortgage online. You can go look up a house. So I think... What, what you're saying is to have that person that can help you map that out instead of just going, boom, this is the house I want, and sure, here's a mortgage, and sure, here's the insurance. Like actually having people that can talk to you about the game plan yep. is, is pretty important. It's very important. There's a lot of money at risk, and as everyone will tell you, it's the biggest investment you're going to make. Right. You definitely want to have a professional on your side. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one more question about the market, and then I want to get in a little bit about Better Homes and Gardens and, and everything that you guys are doing over there. Do you see any kind of slowdown coming? You know, obviously, it's like we, we said at the outset, like a very tumultuous year, a lot of uncertainty, but it, it seems like things are just continuing in a lot of different industries just to continue with a lot of momentum. So do you guys see any kind of slowdown um, in activity coming up, you know, Q1, Q2 next year? Yeah, I think you'll see a slowdown number-wise, and that's just going back to the whole inventory problem. I mean, it, there's, there's plenty of willing and able buyers. It's going to be where, where can we buy? So it's, I think you will see the numbers slow down, but I don't think that's going to be a, a fair representation of the market. I think as far as realtors are concerned, we'll be just as busy, um, if not more busy, trying to find you know, the properties for the buyers or you know, getting, uh, getting sellers ready to, as we were talking about, game plan for how we're going to sell our house and, and figure out where we're moving to and everything like that. So I think our industry is going to remain as busy as it has been or even busier, but the numbers, I think, uh, for sold units will probably come down some just because, again, inventory. Right. Be a good time to be you know, a pre-retiree or just at retirement, you know? Get, get that premium on my house and yep. downgrade to a condo because I don't need all the space and just yep. the time. If you can find the condo. Yeah, <laughs> Then you build some of those that have been sitting on First Street for a while that yeah. never broke ground. Well, you know, I was talking to someone the other day, and they were saying something similar. They're like, yeah, we're thinking about just selling our place and then just going and travel. I was like, where do you think you're going to travel to? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can sell your place easy, but where are you going to go afterwards? You have to get an RV or like a sailboat yeah. and just be isolated in your little spot, just kind of look at things out the window, I guess. Yep. <laughs> so, like I mentioned, you know, we, we've known each other for, you know, over 20 years now, um, or close to it, I guess, close to 20 years. Yeah. Um, I remember, you know, coming into my my last year of school and, and into, you know, the workforce. Um, I started out doing mortgages 
um, downtown and got introduced to a young uh, real estate professional, Dan McCarthy, and we became uh, quick friends and all that. So um, I obviously went a different direction into marketing and other things. Um, and you've stick, you know, you've you've stuck with it. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the the evolution of you know just starting out to figure out this is what you really want to do up to where you guys are now. Yeah, no, I like how you you made it sound a lot more professional than it was. Since I think we it was either the Ritz or the Lynch's was when we met. And it was about midnight. And, oh, you're yeah, people are oranges. I <laughs> do real estate. Yeah, yeah, let's get together. But yeah, um, what was the question again? <laughs> I was thinking back to, no, to those yeah, days. Oh, we could we could do a whole episode probably <laughs> on on the old days. Um, just you know, going from getting into this and really under or figuring out this is what you wanted to do long term. Like I said, I got into mortgages and realized you know yeah. I had a passion over here in marketing and, and branding and advertising. But you've stuck with it, which is awesome because um, I think you know I know a lot of people don't necessarily stick with what they first get into. Yeah, so, especially with real estate. I mean, turnover is extremely high in real estate. Yeah, so I mean, the evolution as far as that goes is, it, it's it's never it's never the same job, um, you know. And from when I was a realtor to now being, uh, you know, the broker owner of a company, it's it's never been the same. The market's never been the same. Um, the people are always changing. It's 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 a fresh business to where every day you just don't know what's going to come. So it's 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 fun. It's it never feels repetitive, sure. And, and I think that's what's really kept me into it because there's always there's always something new to do. Right. I mean, yeah. you, you went through um, the 08 market. You went through. You know, you've seen the evolution of when we got into it. Social media really wasn't a business play. You yeah. know, that was back when it was the Facebook for college kids. And so to see, you know, having to adapt to all the changes, not only in the market, but how you guys market yourselves, um, bringing in and attracting, you know, not only the buyers and the sellers, but new agents and things like that. So you have, yep. how many agents now? Well, we're at 81. 81. Yep. Fastest growing. Yeah, we've been in the top 50 fastest growing companies for three years now here in Jacksonville in a row. Would you say that's your your marketing lady? It's all her? <laughs> yep. Nikki? Nikki, yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely all her. Well, talk, I mean, seriously, though, and Nikki, you're welcome. Um, but let's talk about, you know, obviously she does a fantastic job. That's, yeah. that's not all joking. Um, and, you know, the brand that you guys have built is, is pretty incredible. So to attract, you know, 81 agents um, to do the things you guys are doing as far as in terms of growth and being a market leader, what are some of the things that you guys are really priding yourselves on from, a, I guess, a branding standpoint as well as an attraction standpoint? And let's start with the agents first. Yeah. And, you know, you talk, talk to uh, Evolution before, mm -hmm. and what we've evolved to is figuring out that each agent is an independent contractor, and our agents are professionals who already have a good book of business, but they want support somewhere else in their business, whether it be marketing, which is usually the big thing, um, or if it's just organization, or if it's getting together with other like-minded professionals, and being able to push each other and say, hey, what are you doing that works? What are you doing? And, and just being able to have a nice, tight-knit group of professionals and that's focused on growing their business. You know, not focusing on new trains, new recruits, anything like that. It's focused on what can we do to help you grow your business. And that's that's been really uh, really successful for us, being able to talk to, talk to the career-minded. Sure. Real estate agents. Yeah, and, and I've seen, I mean, I know you guys do um, regular trainings at your facilities. Um, you know, there, there's a lot, like you said, that growth in there and helping people not just, you know, go out there and, and hit the streets and, and hope for the best. Yeah, no, I mean, it's all about the support. It's, it's and you, every single agent needs, needs or is looking for something different and just being able to take an individual approach. And that's why we've, we've tried to keep it, you know, very tight and, and small group to where we can give each agent the individual attention to help them uh, grow their business. And I've got to assume with the Better Homes um, support system and network behind them, that's got to be a huge selling point as well, right? Huge. So especially like we talked about at the start of this with people coming from other places in the country, um, there's got to be just a great network there as well. Yeah, and, and before I was with Better Homes and Gardens, again, going back to the evolution of things, mm -hmm. being independent, that was the huge thing. Is I spent all my time trying to find these third-party systems 
Like, all right, how am I going to grow this brand? All right, how am I going to support this agent and this listing? And what systems is going to be the best for this? And then being able to go and, and team up with a, with a brand like Better Homes and Gardens, all right, boom, our brand can't get a more recognizable brand. And then the back office systems are all in place, all top notch, you know, the leading, leading industry uh, professionals there. So that's taken care of. All right, now we can focus on the agents. Got and that's, that's been eye opening for us. Sure. And so I know um, you have several locations. So why don't you tell viewers where yeah, you guys are located? Yeah, so we're Jack's Beach between Target and Publix, uh, Nocatee down again behind Publix, follow the Publixes. <laughs> Uh, Riverside, we just opened up um, right uh, right near the Five Points area, and over our main office is in uh, Touchton, over at Southside. So, Dan, with four locations uh, spread out all across, um, where else can they find you? Obviously, besides 904 Pros, where can they connect with uh, you and all your friends yeah. in the brand? BeBetterJacks.com, uh, J-A-X, BeBetterJacks.com is where uh, we're, we're at, and Facebook, connect with us, and Put out a lot of uh, up-to-date content on that, and any of our agents, you know, give them a call and, and reach out and connect with them. And we, you know, we're very proud of all of them. Well, Dan, like I said, thank you for coming in. Um, you know, the fact that we go back so far um, to have you on, have you part of the the nine four pros is is fantastic. It's a great resource uh, for our viewers, for our you know people that follow us. Um, Dan puts out regular articles on the site, so you can make sure to get tips, um, not only on the market and what's going on, but for buying, selling, um, cleaning up your home, maintenance stuff. I mean, it's kind of all across the board when it comes to home ownership. Um, and like you said, you can find them on social, on the site, and uh, just stay tuned. We're gonna bring Dan on as much as we can because there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff going on in 2021. So. Let's hope so. There you yeah. go. All right, thanks, Dan. Hey, thank you.